Sean Avery, and these are five things that you need to do if you wanna start making picture books. Number one, you need to pick a human, animal, or magical character. Number two, you need to give that character a one-word personality. Number three, you need to pick an everyday fantasy or unconventional setting. Number four, you need to give your setting a one-word personality. And number five, probably the most important thing of all, you need to make sure that you like both of them. How does this look on our story sheets? Let's go sort it out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fill out all of our character types, human, animal, object, food, character, go. So now I have all of my characters, doctor, teacher, zookeeper, all that. I'm gonna use one word to describe each one of these characters so I can get to know their personalities. So I'm gonna fill in the personalities over here. Okay, and go. Okay, now that I've got my personalities, it tells me a little bit about the characters and it sort of implies the story. So a giant doctor, a marshmallow teacher, a ghostly zookeeper, you can already start to imagine some stories. Now you gotta come up with some ideas for locations, everyday, fantasy, unconventional settings. We've also got all the ideas down the bottom here that you're uh, welcome to look at. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now I finished braining storm a few ideas for different places our story can take place, playground, gym, desert, forest, mountains. We're gonna give these uh, settings personalities just like we gave our characters personalities. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now that my settings have got a character or a personality for them, I'm gonna match up one of my characters with one of my settings. Sometimes it's fun to match up things that you don't expect, but what I'm gonna go for, I really like the idea of drawing a grumpy snake and I'm gonna mix that with a desert, a harsh and prickly desert, straight across, like that. Hopefully with all that brainstorming, you came up with some pretty wacky ideas and a, a really fun character that you want to write about. This is key here, guys. You have to be really excited about your character and your setting, and if you start with that really strong foundation, then you are off to a really good start when it comes to making picture books. Oh, <laughs>